this one. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Greetings, hello, welcome everyone. I hope you can hear me all right. Um, yeah, I was messing with audio and everything like that. So we have totally changed. That's why I said, like, this stream, we're going to try to work out some of these kinks. It has been a while uh, since we have done a stream. Uh, so hello, everyone. Welcome. I am still alive. Rumors of my demise. Uh, highly exaggerated. Um, let's see. So some people said some stuff in chat. Yes, we're going to be writing some intentionally bad code today. Hopefully everybody is, uh, you know, not not scared by that. Um, I haven't totally decided what I want to do with this, so I alluded to this in our Discord previously, uh, that um, I wanted to try and make a new kata at some point. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, so uh, we're going to kind of figure that out and mess with some things together, but uh, I want to run through some ideas, kind of chat with you guys, um, sort of figure it out uh, as we go, and then create the kata after we've come up with some of the ideas of what are some bad things we want to have in there. House Basook! That is awesome. Thank you for subscribing. Night 19 month. Man, that's got to be a, a record. Hang on a second while I click a button. Um, it's me. Whoa! Brendonius! Oh man, Brendonius with the 45 months! Wow, that guy is awesome! That was, that was a joke. <laughs> no, but thanks, House Basuk. The the funny thing being, I think I'm the only person that kept my uh, sub going that, that, that entire time. Why? Because I wanted my own emotes. Uh, that's, that's the important stuff. Uh, so welcome, everyone. If you're new here, my name is Brendan, uh, and uh, we are going to be streaming. You probably noticed that uh, a bunch of my mods have made it back. Um, we have not been uh, streaming all that much lately, but I did want to get started again, and so in order to make myself do that, um, I got everything prepped to do a st this stream yesterday, and then um, I opened up OBS, and my internet went out. So that was that was, that was a thing. Um, <laughs> I was like, this is a bad omen. I'm not going to stream today. This is, this is not the day for it. And then I was like, okay, well, uh, I guess I'll stream tomorrow. And uh, so then I was going to start my stream uh, probably about an hour or so ago. And then one of my clients was like, hey, do you have time for a call? And I was like, uh, yes, okay. So I, I took I took that call. Uh, and now we've got about an hour. So uh, let's have a look uh, and see what horrible, terrible things we could build in an hour. Uh, so preface, background, what we're going to be doing. So the goal of this project that uh, I'm hoping is just a short project, but the goal of this project is to um, create another kata that, that we can work with. Um, and so the plan is, uh, and I, sh I should specify a refactoring kata. So if you've ever done like the, the, um, the Gilded Rose refactoring kata or anything like that, it's uh, along those lines. Uh, the goal is to have a program that has things done in it, either in weird or strange ways, uh, cryptic ways sometimes. Uh, and then once that program is written, you will task the person doing the kata with adding a new feature without breaking the existing functionality, which means two things. First off, you need to look at the code and figure out, number one, can I test the code that's right there before I change it? Number two, what code could potentially break as I add this feature? And number three, um, actually make the change without without breaking it, right? So sometimes that means you need to write a couple of tests to verify related features to what you're changing. And then sometimes that means trying very safe refactorings. And some are not as safe as you think. So it's uh, an interesting thing. Yes, <laughs> House Bazooka, that's exactly right, yes. Uh, if if you're not watching enough streams, you don't have a place for your Prime sub to go. So I'm I'm glad I could help you with that. Um, yeah. Okay. So code base alpha. Um, the intention is to uh, give people the chance to practice some of the ideas that we need to do in real life. Because the, the entire point of the kata is 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 two lessons. Um, one is practicing doing things that the way you want to do them. Hey, strife. <laughs> Thank you for subbing. Uh, and then the other thing that uh, that you want to do is try to make it so that the um, uh, 
the developer doing the kata can grab some kind of skill or something like that. So um, if you are, um, so yes, yeah, sometimes you do want to be close to life. So in this case, the goal is learning how to refactor safely without breaking things, learning um, when to add tests to legacy code, because one approach that you see people take on these refactoring katas is they just go nuts and they just go, hey, I'm going to test everything. I'm going to test everything. And and by the way, I've done that approach. It's it's uh, an interesting learning exercise uh, to do that and go and do the like, hey, I'm going to test every single piece of functionality in here. Now, there could be a legacy application out there where you don't know what it does and you are tasked with documenting what it does. Sometimes an approach to that is literally go write all the tests for every feature it has. And if you, once you've written all the tests, you know what that code does. So if there's mysterious code that people don't understand, yeah, go, go, go write a bunch of tests. You'll know what it does once you're done with the tests. Uh, that's assuming you can test it. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, all I've done without you is, is pretty much set this up, which this is nothing. This is hello world. Um, I wonder what happens when I run this. Let's find out. Does it build? Does it run? I don't know. Maybe. It opened it in another screen, so you don't even get to see it. There it is. It says, hello world. We're done here. This code's terrible. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, so what do we want to write? So first things first, um, we need to make this do something. So there's a couple of things I was thinking of some really, really evil stuff. And and I'll tell you, here here's some of the evil I'm thinking. So first off, I want to put this somewhere in here. And I don't I don't necessarily want this to be our final code here. Um, I want us to come up with some ideas today. So um, if you can assist me, one of the awesome things that I would love for everyone in chat to do is um, helping me come up with horrible things that we can put in here, mainly as placeholders for now, to eventually bake into the overall program. So something I was thinking is we do this. Um, we start off with a private list of, yes, Greendolf, you are totally correct. Uh, technically with current C sharp, we can get rid of almost every line of code except for, uh, the, um, console write line, but keep in mind that our intention is here is writing legacy code. So this is supposed to be stuff that's older. So hence, um, I wanted to go with the older style here. Uh, in fact, if I were being truly evil, we could have made this uh, an, an old like .NET framework, you know, like <laughs> ancient, you know, like 20 year old uh, something or other. Uh, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Yep, we want it to be verbose. Yes, exactly. Target net, net three five. Woo! Hype train. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's have a look. So first off, I want to make a list of something. Um, I'm thinking uh, we maybe do like deals or discounts or something like that. I'm thinking some kind of purchasing application. Let me tell you the evil that's in my mind right now that's going to mess with someone in the future. Um, I'm thinking we create a new type called like deals or discounts or something like that. Um, and here's what I'm thinking for these. Um, maybe we, so since I couldn't decide between the two names, first off, I couldn't decide between deals and discounts. You know what that means? That means since this is going to be legacy code, we're going to have both. Um, we're going to have discounts. And the discounts are of type deals. So we can confuse everyone when they're doing this. What's a discount? What's a deal? I don't know. I'm going to use the names interchangeably because why be consistent in your language? Okay. <laughs> so here's what I want to do. So we've got discounts and deals. Hey, pudding, greetings. Um, oh, right, it's private. So I need to, I, I am at least going to follow naming convention here. Maybe we'll de decide to deviate from that in our in our real one. Um, yes, C Sharp. C Sharp is awesome. Criticize it all you like. There are so many great programming languages out there. It's all a preference thing. Uh, yes, putting I am uh, rumors of my death were highly exaggerated. I am, in fact, still alive. Um, and I'm not going to sing the song. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Um, ooh, has it been a year? Maybe it's been a year, Pudding. I don't remember. 
Okay, so we need a couple of deals. What kind of deals do we want? So for now, um, I don't know what we want to have on these, so I'm going to give the deals a name and not worry about anything else, because I kind of want to get the idea across and not worry about the functionality of them. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, stranger, that's right. I am, in fact, not alive. This is a puppet. Um, I have been dead for months, and they use makeup so that you can't tell. Um, it probably smells terrible here, though. Okay, um, uh, let's see. Um, what are our deals? Uh, we have the Monday special. And I'm wondering if anybody's going to figure out where I'm going with this. Uh, Tuesday special. Wednesday special. Thursday special. Uh, Friday special. Saturday special. And the Sunday special. Uh, whoops, hang on. I uh, spelled that wrong. That was a joke. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, and you all thought I was going to do it your way. No, we're doing it my way. We're starting with Sunday. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we now have our set of discounts. Okay. So now here's the awesome thing that I want to do at some point in this program. Um, okay. So I'm going to tell you what it is because I don't know exactly where we're going to put it, put it yet, but here's what I want to do. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. So, so guy has has the has the answer. Guy guy has it already. Um, so he is talking about ha having extra stuff on Sunday. So, um, there will be a feature request for an extra discount. Um, so there so there will be a feature request for an extra discount. The other to do that we have on here is um, use, here's what I'm going to do, discounts uh, count instead of the number seven. So somewhere I want to divide by seven or use the number seven as weeks, as like number of days in the week. But instead of actually having that, we are using discounts.count because some programmer was like, I don't want magic numbers and said, hey, there are seven weekly discount values and I can use that. And it'll be totally fine. Because, um, you know, there's one deal per day, right? We could never change that number. Um, because why would... Yeah, what's a kata? Exactly. Because why would we have... I will explain in a second for anyone that actually doesn't know what a kata is. Because... <laughs> Why would we have a magic number when there will always be seven deals? <laughs> uh, who got the uh, who got the conductor of the hype train? Who who was that? Uh, choo choo! Hype train! Please be me! Please be me! No, it wasn't. I don't think it was me. Who got it? Who got the hype train conductor? Okay, uh, yeah, pudding, I will explain. Uh, so you've only heard the word uh, kata coming from karate, and that's probably very common, or, and, and, and other, you know, you may have heard it in other contexts. That's better phrasing. Uh, so uh, for anyone here who doesn't know the term kata as, as it applies to software development, uh, they, are, they are sort of like our, um, our way of exercising and practicing. Um, the term comes about because the original idea of a kata um, in programming is that you would have a defined set of steps that someone had already done. So there would be an exercise like maybe the bowling kata, for example, and you say, okay, we're going to build a program that um, is designed to score a game of bowling. And so in the bowling kata, you build that. And the way that you're supposed to do it in the original way of doing a kata is that there are a set of steps that you are supposed to walk through. You create this program, then you make this change, this change, this change. Um, and the changes can be um, adding the test, adding the feature, changing the feature, adding a test, adding a feature, changing the feature. And you're going through that step by step. And the reason for that is sort of to reinforce the steps and process 
of um, someone who is good at doing something that you want to do. So if you want to get better at how do I let a design evolve, like evolve as I build it, then following along in someone else's kata who is good at that already can help you learn from their process how they step. Because a question that often comes up from people is, hey, I was doing TDD and it just kept getting worse and worse. When was I supposed to refactor? And so the point of the kata is to show you where someone else who is, is good at determining that, when did they decide to refactor? By following their step, you can learn that. Um, so that's the classic way of doing a kata and why it's called that, because you are matching the motions of someone else to you know, essentially emulate this exact set of steps, hence the term kata. Um, we, however, in programming continue to use the same word for other purposes. So sometimes you can do that kata, but decide to do it your own way as ways of basically doing uh, simplified practice. So it becomes like a goal. Yes, yes, exactly. As Nightmare says, um, it's like developing muscle memory in your programming. You get used to this. Uh, so some of the patterns you start noticing, um, and this specifically comes up in like the, the bowling kata and things like that, is the, uh, and, and some of the other ones, uh, that you'll find from uh, like Uncle Bob Martin's old old katas um, is you'll find things like um, transitions from uh, ifs to whiles and things like that. Uh, oh, is that working right now? It should be working, uh, Codebase Alpha, if it's not. Hang on. Is that not working? Uh... Whoops. Um... That should be working. Is this the one? Oh, wait, this one. All right, hang on. Why isn't that working? I had it running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, smart ASCII. Yeah, the, the annoying thing is I, I confirmed that when I switched everything over. It, okay, uh, so to explain uh, what uh, what Codebase Alpha and then Guy Royce and I were trying to do is all the lights that you see, all these little colors moving around on the screen, like that one, that one there, and then that one there, like these little things, uh, you can change all their colors and everything, so you can make your stream, stream whatever you want. Um, but they must not be hooked up for some reason. So I recently switched all my streaming stuff because uh, we are back streaming again, um, and then we did that. Okay, so I mentioned here I want to use this. Uh, so in some capacity to determine the weeks or something like that. Um, yeah, it doesn't work on my machine. I don't know why. Also, uh, welcome, everyone. It's so nice to see all of you here and chatting with me. Uh, I need other ideas. I was hoping that someone was going to chime in with horrible things I should do. Uh, so we're going somewhere in like the 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 like business space because I I created these deals and discounts um, and came up with these codes. Uh, so we could be doing something like um, so. Let's so things we still have available to us. Uh, it could be uh, like some kind of uh, point a point of sale system. Um, it could be something with like. It could even be something with like inventory management. Something on that lines could know about discounts and deals that are coming up, and so they don't necessarily want to get rid of that. Uh, yes, screened off. What's your suggestion? Uh, the three steps of development, right? <laughs> that should be working. It's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, yeah, exactly, nightmare. Uh, and then there's occasionally the wait a minute. I didn't think this was going to be working. Why is this working? What's going on? Those are great. Um, use the non generic dictionary a couple of. Oh! Yee. Um, <laughs> Green Dolph, that's just mean. Uh, let's see, I've even had the occasional why. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yep, Smart Nasky Chowder. Yep, the why is this working? This shouldn't be working. And then you find out it's like, wait a minute, it's running different code. It's not even running the code I think it's running. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Helpful Stranger had the same reaction to me as I did for that. 
please please don't suggest the non-generic stuff that's pre uh ASP.NET 2. That's just mean. Uh <clears throat> and yes, nightmare is correct. Uh so um something that comes up a lot when talking to people about TDD is a lot of times people are like, why would you run write stuff before it's working? And like, why would you want it to fail to begin with? And it's like you want it to fail because you want to confirm that it can fail. If you never saw red, you don't know if your test ever can fail. And that is the toughest part to get people to realize. It's like, if you didn't make it fail, you don't even know that it's running the code you think it is because it may not be. Like occasionally you're like, oh yeah, it's this is like, wait a minute, it's called, oh, there's two different classes called deals. Did I just say that? Did I just say an evil thing? I think I just said an evil thing. Two different classes called deals. That sounds evil. Um, what do we call these ones? Um, I know, we'll call, yes, yes, this is what they're called. This is what they're called. Um, this is what we're going to create. We're going to create a deals class in in the codes uh hang on hang on hang on yes this is this is as evil as i think it is oh this is this is this is this there's no way this will cause anyone any grief later not a chance how could it it's so so normal and not not completely insane to have two types with the same name and the same thing and also you got to love the fact that I just called this one discounts because we're flipping these things. Here we go. Good luck, people. Good luck. <laughs> uh oh, yes, yes. Uh G Gr Green Dolph is correct. Yes, I could, I could do things like uh, they they have they have allowed some more of this crazy aliasing, uh, but yes, like, see okay. So that's the funny thing is, uh, Harry, you're mentioning right there the um, that that it is giving you flashbacks. That is the point. I want to have things that we have all faced before being in the code. This like I have run into cases. I don't I don't think specifically on the like days of the week seven, but where people used the number of items in a collection as part of a calculation and you sit there and you go but that's that's part of a list like what if something ever changes that and you're like and you're treating it like a, a like a constant not like hey we want it divisible so there's one for each right where that'd be like you want a proportional value and that would make sense but you used it because it had the specific number because it was it happened to match and it's like no no that's arbitrary you can't do that and so yes that's the that's the point here is crazy things a uh, global string system read only span of characters <laughs> Okay, Green Dove, that would be really funny because that would confuse everybody that touched it. But I think that's a little bit too evil. Uh, what we want, so my goal is to make sure that there are side effects and confusion and difficulty in changing things um, to create some of that challenge. Um, not necessarily that there's mysterious problems that come up uh, because of it. Uh, discounts instead of discount and deals instead of deal. Is also not a good thing. Yes, exactly. Yes, helpful strangers, correct. There is a reason that I am pluralizing these uh, in advance on the types, because then that means you can't get rid of the confusion. So what do you say? It's, it's like, well, we've got deals. Is that one one deals or is that multiple deals? At which point, should I be writing that as dealses or deals list? <laughs> uh, yes, so Guy Royce, I could have done it in JavaScript. It, and um, actually... The intention is not to go too deep in the specifics of language features as the problem. And the reason uh, is exactly what Guy is alluding to there. That is that it would be cool to be able to... <laughs> exactly. Deals is my precious. Yes. Um, it would be good to be able to have other language versions of this. So if we go mostly with like problems that you can 
create in any language, that works a little bit better for us. Um, so what do you think, point of sale system? We could do some kind of point of sale. Um, the question is then, how do we make it work? Uh, so I started this as a console application just because console applications, you know, it gives you something to run. So there could be like a, yeah, this is actually running. Um, this could be like a, this project needs jQuery. Yes, exactly. Um, exactly. Yes. See, Guy is correct. It has that acronym, which which makes it work even better. Yes. This is um, our... Oh, whoops, I accidentally wrote the same acronym twice. Oopsies. Or did I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, our point of, it's our point of sale, point of sale system. What did you think I meant? <clears throat> okay. Uh, so how do we want to make this work? So there's a couple of things that we could do. We could have... Um, this be like the lookup program and, and the fact that it's a console application doesn't really matter. This could be like, find me the price of this set of items. Um, uh, program to find the price of a set of items. So essentially we, we would run this each time, like given the full list of items that they had scanned so far, and we would rerun it with the new stuff each time. Um to but point is what what? Nightmare? There's another meaning to POS? Wow. I wonder what it is. Um, um I can't I can't think of anything. Per yeah, it's a perfectly oper perfectly operational software. Yes, yep, perfectly operational. That's totally what we meant. Yes, <laughs> P pinnacle of software. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So that so we know what we want to do with it now. Um, let's make it take in the arguments then maybe the args are a list of product names uh so may maybe we determine the price of a shopping cart well so um the, there needs to be some way that someone has scanned something so it could be like a so it could be a UPC kind of thing but I'm thinking for our case uh in order to remove the complexity of that because we want the code to be bad but um we don't want uh, I mean I guess we could go that route of having a complex lookup um uh Crichton, no uh this one's only .net 5 and to be honest I thought about making it a .net full framework like an old 35 or something like that just for like evil but no um, this is .NET 5 for now, just for ease of my of my sanity. <laughs> um, and it could end up being .NET 6. It doesn't really matter. But I did I did this because I was like, yeah, we'll 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 go with this, not bleeding edge or anything like that, so uh, more people can run it. Because I um, I don't know if everybody has switched over to to .NET 6 yet. Hey, yeah, Voigtkampf, the the yearly Dev Chatter stream. Uh, funny enough, I'm going to be joining another stream after our stream today. So our stream will cut short uh, today, and I'm hoping that I can, uh, you know, get a get at least some short streams going, even if I don't get to my old, like, two to four hours that we were doing uh, back in the day. But if I can get some short stream going, uh, then I think that would be good. Um, make the product code's name case sensitive. Uh, I agree, Codebase Alpha. They are going to probably be case sensitive, and we're going to be doing direct string comparisons. Um, I think your variable names are too descriptive. Uh, yes, yes, nightmares. Um, for some of them, they are. Um, but keep in mind that on this one, on deals and discounts, the intention with that one is they are descriptive because it's supposed to be confusing. Because we have deals and discounts both, and I flipped the names even. Um, but you're right, I could make them more confusing. It's just tough to make them more, like, worse without, without maintaining the confusion. You know what? Someone is right here. I don't know who was who who was not shouting at me to do this. Um, but 
but I should be doing that instead on one of these. Exactly. This descriptive is not always accurate. Precisely. Yep. 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 Uh, you go over the. Uh... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. See how specific acronyms can mean all kinds of things to different people. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, feature request for this kind of Okay, so we need to pass these in. So how do we want to do this? So uh, first thing that we need to do <coughs> after we say hello world, um, let's change hello world real fast. Um, we'll say processing uh, processing items. Okay, uh, so the args are going to be the items, I think. Um, Maybe we just make the first argument be the items or something like that. Hang on. Let me go over here to, is it here? Application arguments. Um, let's see, what might we be buying? We might be buying uh, milk, pizza, um, yeah, sure. We'll say milk and pizza. There you go. Fantastic. Yum. <laughs> now that everybody in the chat's like <laughs> super good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thanks, smart asking. Mm, milk and pizza. <laughs> All right. Uh, console right line arg. All right. Uh, let's just test this and see if it works. Uh, oh. Seriously, even if you're writing bad code, go ahead and try running it just to see what you get. All right. So this confirms, yes, we are passing in our arguments. Uh, yes, breakfast of eight-year-olds. Oh, come on. My four-year-old could eat pizza and milk for breakfast. I, I mean, I don't serve him that. But he could if he if, if he were allowed to. I'm sure he would. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, you got to love the spam bots. They're already here. Back streaming and the spam bots show up immediately. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Uh, <laughs> Why, yes, I would love to buy... No, I, I would not like to buy the thing. All right, um, so what do we got? Uh, we have our args there printing out. So we've got uh, milk and pizza. Um, so we need a class for the objects that we buy. All right, what do we want to call these? What are the items that you buy? Any suggestions from the chat? Uh, so, uh, let's see, pizza cereal? Oh, that, yeah, I hope they've got pizza cereal. Uh, no, 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 no. Pizza cereal, not not pineapple on pizza pudding. We're not trying to start an argument here. If we're starting an argument, it's over tabs and spaces. This is a this is a programming channel. We gotta we gotta make sure we're kid friendly here. Pizza crunch cereal. <laughs> okay, that sounds great. Um, product. <clears throat> All right, it's product for now. Um, and we're going to give them, uh, oh yeah, yeah, you ready for this? Yeah, you ready for this? Yeah, double. I used a double for money. Double. <laughs> Bruschetta Toast Crunch. <laughs> and yes, thank you, Nightmare. It's a good idea to make sure you've got your arguments or you, all of your Shopping. Oh, code base alpha. Perfect. Here's your shopping. This will make no sense at all. All right, here we go. We have a product name. Uh, all right. Uh, how do we want to keep these? What will make this real nasty? How about inside of here we have a public static uh, list of items. Here we go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. 
It's going to be right in here. Same thing. It's going to be perfect. All right. Now we need a C Torp. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. How much does bruschetta toast crunch cost? We wonder. Um, it costs, uh, I don't know, uh, $3.37. Uh, <laughs> it, don't, you're, you're right, double's not too bad, helpful stranger. Um, does it get worse than storing it as a string? Uh, well, with a string, we have to do the work of converting to a number and then doing the math. With a double, we can run into, like, calculation problems. <laughs> Great plan, code base. I would definitely write it this way. Static, mutable state, perfect. Be perfect. Yep, yep, yep. Never say never for where they <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, I thought about, you know, having you new up an instance of shopping that contained all the products or something, because there's no way that could cause you problems. Uh, with or without the Dells. Yeah. Yeah, we could have some Dells in here. Okay, so we got Bruschetta Toast Crunch. What was the other terrible name? Where's guys? Pizza Crunch Cereal. There we go. So we got Pizza Crunch Cereal and Bruschetta Toast Crunch. Uh, Pizza Crunch Cereal is much cheaper. Uh, and then what else do we... We have to have just regular pizza because I typed that already. And then we got to have milk. And milk uh, is that. And and don't worry, milk only comes in one size. Um, uh, no one will ever sell anything but a gallon. Who needs halves? Um, and by the way, uh, that comment is totally staying in there as a treat for anyone who gets the feature ad, you know, that we need to be able to sell different sizes of milk jug. Uh, exactly. See, guys, right. It's the generic version of Bushetta Test Crunch. It's the pizza, pizza crunch cereal. I mean, shouldn't it be, uh, I have no idea. But that'll be that. And then uh, Pizza Crunch Cereal. You know what? It's going to be a little bit closer. It's, it is it is the cheap version, but it's going to be a little bit closer. There we go. Uh, here we go. Yeah, let's actually do that just so it's more likely to mess up. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I mean, shouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, like It's a big K brand. All right. So now we got milk and pizza. Um, so... We're going to go through each product. We're going to print out. So we're going to find it in this list, um, which means that we need to go uh, for each product in uh, the, what is it? They are, they're shopping.items. Okay, except we can't do this. There we go. That's better. Yeah, see? I almost did a for each loop there. That would have been absurd to actually do a for each loop. Uh, this is J because this one is is I. Because clearly we need to I and J through these for loops because we couldn't possibly have for each this. And then uh, this tried to give me a variable here. Uh, no, thank you. No. No, 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 don't give me these convenient variables. I don't want them. If uh, that dot name equals uh, args i, then we clearly have the product, and we want to say console.writeline, the product and the price. Um, 
<laughs> you void cup. I thought about doing that, having the outer loop be Jay just as a troll. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know whether or not we actually want to, like, I may adjust it so that we don't end up in our examples, end up with any uh, floating point issues. <clears throat> Oh, that's actually a good point. There was a suggestion to go in alphabetical order. So we'll start with A and B. Don't want to confuse anyone. Okay, so we're going to we're going to print it out and then uh just to make it fun, we're going to say this and then You know what? Let's be evil. We because we haven't been evil yet. <laughs> We're gonna string builder this thing. Uh for deals in the shopping items. Yes, exactly. These are the shopping items. Yes, loops reusing unrelated variables, that's a great idea. Um let's add uh yeah, so we're gonna append on uh this right here and then we're gonna append on one of these one of those and then shopping items b price and then sb dot to string. Okay, now let's run this and see what we get. <clears throat> uh, look, it printed out the items and their prices. We did it! Our program works! We won! <laughs> Uh, okay, that's actually a decent idea. Um, I like it. I like it. Um, how do we do this then? Do we make this a double for no reason? Because we can make this a double for absolutely no reason. Can I? Can I get away with that? Can I do this? Is it going to let me? All right. B equals shopping item price. This is super evil. I don't know if you're seeing this. Uh, I don't know, guy. I think it does. We're about to find out. And then we're going to break. <clears throat> yes. Yes, we need actual query syntax of link. Definitely greened off. Uh, instead of price, call that cost. Then use cost elsewhere. Was the quality times the unit cut? Yes, okay, yeah, I can change price to cost. Okay. We have a price stem on this. Is it talking about the one down here? This, I think it was. So this one needs to get renamed without renaming that. Because that needs to, because this, this just has to be here. We have to have price equals cost if we're going to be messing with those names not being the same. Okay, so what do we got so far? We've got, go through the items, do that. I think this code probably still works, but let's run it to be sure. <clears throat> oh yeah, still works. Uh Custom operators that implement weird behavior is a great idea. Um, 
You could... I don't know if you can change how the operator works on a double, can you? You could definitely... You can definitely change the operator on a on an object, but can you change it on double? I'd have to think about that. Uh, helpful stranger, what about overriding equality and nullability in weird ways? Yes, yes, yes. You could you could implement your own equality on stuff, and that can make it weird too. Um. I mean, if we're actually wanting to, you know, like we we could. All right, all right, you 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 got me here. You you got me interested. <laughs> Implement your own class called double. <laughs> um, you can't lowercase. So helpful stranger, uh, you are right and wrong. Uh, so you're saying you can't on double, and you did say lowercase, but. Nightmare suggested uppercase D, and I think you can. Um, and because I don't think the language has that as a keyword. So lowercase D is a keyword, but I don't know about uppercase. Uh, let's try it. Yeah, see? There's no there's no keyword on, on capital D double. But there is on lowercase d double that it'll probably, yeah, see, this one it's going to yell at me about because that is a reserved word in C sharp. But the capital D, no. Because that's just a type in the language. Okay. Uh, double, double, strange. Um, yes. Uh, Renee, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I was going to do a, a comparison. Um, implicit conversions would be, would be fantastic for some stuff. Sadly, I don't think I can do that for a double. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I could use an at double, but the problem is then they'd know something was up and would, and would not think it was the thing. <clears throat> okay. So, um, so we've got that here. I was thinking do an equality comparison against a string. <clears throat> that's what I was planning on doing. Hang on. I need my brain for a second. Quality members. Don't need the whole thing. I want to borrow this. So this is for one of these, but... Is this enough to get it? I forget exactly how to do this one. Equitable string? Is that how I do it? I forget how to do this. There is a way to do this. Is it? Do you implicitly convert it? Is that what you do? I think there's a way to do what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> um, return name equals name true. Um, well, this if this isn't like the challenge is that's gotta that's gotta work, and I don't know that it does. I mean, I know I can write e. I know I can just call the method, but I want the equality operator. Um, <clears throat> so what do I have to do for that? Um, so I need to override the operator. Oh, I forget how to do that. Um, I'm trying to make it so that uh, you can implicitly do a shopping item equals. So I want to write this. Um,
I want to write shopping items B uh, equals uh, args A. I want to write that where this is a shopping and this is a string. Yeah, exactly. Um, is it is it that? I don't, I can't remember the syntax for it. Um, C sharp operator overload. Give me the syntax. In case you're wondering, I intentionally don't overload operators, like almost ever. <laughs> and the reason I don't do that is because it can really cause massive amounts of confusion. Operator, that's the that's the one. Okay. Uh, I borrowed this from the docs. Uh, I want the equality operator, and keep, we don't need to do any other operators. Hey, you had it. Uh, so public static uh, bool operator equals shopping. Uh, this one's going to be a string, right? And then it needs to be, oh, it's got to have two. Um, does the first one have to be my type? A dot name equals B. Is that how you do it? Oh, this could never be null. This could never be null. <laughs> Uh, oh, it requires the other one to be defined. Bummer. I was just saying, like, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Green Dove, you're right. If I do this one, I have to. Because I was thinking it'd be really funny if you didn't do both. Um, okay. <clears throat> What do you want to change this to? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. <clears throat> turn, turn, on. <laughs> turn on the nullable feature and then disable the null check warnings. That seems like a really bad idea. No need to have document. Um, Oh yes, nightmare. You're right. This it should it should get. We we need to have documentation. Um. Okay, so we don't want equals anymore. And and uh, just a heads up, we're gonna have to wrap up the stream here in just a little bit. Okay, uh, and that's because I have another stream to get to. I am going to be a guest on another stream starting here in a little bit. Uh, our good friend here, Guy Royce, is doing a stream, and I said I would be a guest on his stream today. Um, and by I said I would, I mean, I actually never, you know, until just now even said I would. Um, he's just assuming that I, I would because I asked him what time. <clears throat> um, um. Did anyone catch that those comments are flipped? Um, check if it's this. <laughs> not, not in theory, that should this code should work, I think. We're going to see. Oh, yes, it does. It still works. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so heads up on what we're going to do. When we're done with this, I'm going to commit this as like the the day, day one version of our code. So this will be like step one, and then we'll have to uh, continue this another time, adding in some more of our insanity. Uh, compare, compare two variables. Yes, compare two, compare two variables. You know what? It needs a typo. Ver verbials, the verbials. Um, 
and these these match these loop overs um, use for loop for speed yes <clears throat> you gotta you gotta have a for loop for speed man if you if you don't if you don't speed over that think about how big this list of items is gonna get that we're gonna scan over Well, I, Her Hera, I think in this case, it's totally okay to say why it was written that way, because it was for speed. Uh, just decrementing for loop for performance. You know, that's actually a good idea. Oops. Thanks, guy. Now it's decrementing for loop. We'll start with the last item and go first. Um, and not say anything about it. Don't even mention it. No, no one will be the wiser that we happen to go backwards through the list. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> yes, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Exactly. Uh, okay. So, uh, I'd say that's a pretty good start, uh, to our project. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I can make these streams a more regular thing going forward. Um, I know I said that last time. I, 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 I know I said that last time a, a year ago. Was it a year ago? It might not have been fully a year ago. It might have only been like 10 months ago. Um, thank you, Cal Raven. I appreciate it. This code was intentionally bad. Um, <laughs> that comment is... Which one? Last time I, which, which one? Which, this? This is too helpful? This, this was, yeah, this was partially there to just help us. But yeah, I can leave it like that. Um, yeah, like, notice I left it as args. You, you're right. Yes, yes, list of args. I, you know, I think I'm going to leave it off entirely, though, because it, it, it sh sure, yes. Um, the reason I'm leaving it off is because I don't want to draw attention to it. So you actually made a really good point. I shouldn't draw attention to the fact that we're even using it. These to-dos will not stay here. Those are for us. Um, notice I did not even comment on the break, despite there being a break out of the loop, because I don't want to draw attention to it. Maybe they'll miss the fact that we're breaking out of the loop and not even think about it. <clears throat> Um, you know what? Something that we need in here, uh, we, we need a, a while true somewhere. Um, we need to find a, a spot where we can do a while true and break out of it. Um, just, just for the lulls. Um, and, and you're right, you're right. Okay, so... Uh, so some of these comments, like the indentation being too clean and things like that, we want them to be clean right now to help us in creating this. And Guy is correct. We're going to have spaces and tabs in the final version um, just to add additional pain. Um, the fix comments are fine, uh, especially if they're not really needed. Like if the fix implies doing something we didn't need, confusing regions are okay too. You know what? Here you go. Before we move on, this is summary comment. Can I put it inside a region? There you go. Excellent. You're welcome. Now you don't have to see the summary comment. I know that was bothering a few of you. It's hidden away. It introduced web sockets for no reason and put whatever request in the wild. <laughs> All right, so what do we have? So hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's put in a couple of to-dos so we remember to get these spaces and tabs. Um, To-do, uh, mess up indentation. We got to do that before we get to the end. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess Kukler. Um, there is go-to in C-sharp. It's not just a go-to-like thing. It has go to. Um, we need different namespaces in a single file. Ooh, that's actually a good idea. Um, to do. 
uh, two namespaces in the same file. Uh, we already actually have one thing that's kind of similar to that. Uh, that is that is pretty bad. Um, we actually have two things that have the name deals right now. So we have this class deals, and then we also have this other class called deals. We're not using either of them yet, um, but <clears throat> but they definitely need to be there. Um, partial classes, that's a good point. Now keep in mind, we don't want to do too much that's language specific because we want some other languages to be able to do this. Uh, we want to be able to make it so that if we wanted to make a version of this program in another language, it would just be a translation that they could do, and they wouldn't be missing a whole feature or functionality. So partial classes fall into the dangerous one because not every language has that. But we could put something in the partial class, and then if it goes to a language that doesn't have that feature, they could just ignore that. <clears throat> um, what else did people say? Uh, we, we could, you know what? Here, go to. Uh, was there anything else uh, mentioned in here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, Hera, Hera chimed in with what I said. There's, there is go to. <laughs> it's not just go to like thing. It's actually there. Um, um, we need to have some casting. Um. We'll need some casting uh, at some point. When I mess up double, have a global type alias to a wrapper struct for double. Is it epsilon for the U and Okay, hang on, Green Dolph. There you go. Oh, yes. Thank you for the reminder. Yes. Uh, link query syntax. Not everyone can do this. Um, but what we could do is just make sure that, that, that they can use it if they want. Uh, serialization of something. We could, we could look into serialization. We could, we could definitely of, of something. <coughs> Okay, well, uh, I don't want to hang out here too long, otherwise Guy Royce is going to complain at me, um, <clears throat> but I think that's in a good spot. Uh, what I'm going to try to do um, outside of uh, the stream here is commit this code, send it up to GitHub so that we can keep it for later uh, to be able to use it in our next stream so we can continue working on this uh, refactoring kata. I'm hoping that what we create is a messed up enough pile of code <laughs> I'm hoping that phrasing is decent, that no one will want to refactor it when they're adding in the features. Because the goal is the, a person's assignment when working with this will be that they are supposed to add features without breaking anything. So I want to make sure that what's in here is painful enough that they don't try to fix it. Because you don't want them to fix it. Because... When you have an actual legacy system like this in like in your organization, if you try to go fix this, you are really likely to break things. And so part of this exercise is to teach you don't do that. You can just go and like try to keep your feature safe and add it in. So like write new code if you can and have it get injected in. So have it create a new step without you know, breaking anything that's there already. <clears throat> uh, let's see, shame, this is all in English, mixing a couple of human languages in there is thing of beauty. Uh, so we could potentially do that with like comments and variable names, uh, Hera. Um, sorry, I thought I was evil, but you take all the next <laughs> Thank you, Nightmare, I will take that as a compliment. Um, I mean, uh, no, I just burned it with fire and recreated it. Yeah, so exactly, yes. Um, the the trick is that um, th a lot of times companies will, so like the goal is in your exercise is that your assignment is to get this done and it needs to be done now. So there is no time to go and um, create a new version of the same code. So you have to get it done in this time. 
And and yes, Kukler, uh, magic strings and magic numbers definitely need to be in here, except in the case where we can use um, a coincidental number. Um, so that's what I'm kind of alluding to here, is that this number happens to be seven, so we're dodging a magic string by using it. <clears throat> uh, yes, yes, uh, Greendoff is correct. If we can, we have to use reflection somewhere. <clears throat> Uh, that way, it looks like no one is calling a method. Okay, I think that is a pretty good, uh, pretty good spot there. <clears throat> okay, well then, uh, I want to make sure that I thank everybody for swinging out today. Um, I think it was a fantastic uh, stream that we had here today. And um, let me see, what, do I have? what what things do I have available? I've got that. Uh, do I have a, I don't know. But either way, um, today we're going to have to cut the stream short because I have uh, another stream I have to get to. Uh, I am going to be a guest on Guy Royce's stream coming up in about 20-ish minutes. Uh, so I need to jump over into his stream uh, to help him get set up, make sure we've got a voice check for that and everything. Uh, yes, it's going to be over at twitch.tv slash Guy Royce, uh, which Guy just posted in chat. Um, so uh, if you are interested in watching uh, me and Guy talk about uh, code and write some code, uh, we will be over there uh, later today. Um, <clears throat> for now, uh, if you need a break, uh, go hit the restroom, grab a drink, whatever, because uh, we will be over there then. Um, I want to thank you all for swinging out today. I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to uh, do some more of these streams coming up soon. Now that I've gotten the kinks worked out, it should be a little bit easier. Uh, I did switch back over to OBS and everything, uh, green screen set up and, that, and the like. So um, we'll see what happens there. Um, either way, uh, thank you all for hanging out today. Uh, in, enjoy yourselves. Hopefully the weather is nice where you are. Uh, but regardless, I'm going to take off and uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye, everyone.